Hello everybody, welcome back to today's server review video. Today we are on the Tempest Network, thank you for tuning in. If you are new here to these server reviews, I just go over servers telling what I think can be improved and everything to just make them better. If you are interested in uh, getting a server review yourself, please hop on our Discord server and type server review and the bot will tell you what to do. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. So first thing I noticed when I join, uh, there's two players in my hub and I believe there's multiple hubs because it says hub one, hub two, hub one has a uh, few people. Hub 2 has less than that, uh, just me and this other guy. Uh, so what I would recommend doing is adding a hub selector, or if you are not having like 100 players on, just have one hub. There's really no reason to have multiple hubs unless you have a bunch of players on already, so that's just my personal suggestion. Uh, limits your server resources, allow you to focus on other things, stuff like that would be a priority. Um, so nice spawn point though, it looks like I can jump down here. Uh, it says I'm not allowed to do that when I'm trying to break blocks, but what I would recommend doing is just disabling that message so you don't have to spam players. Um, that's just my personal uh, info. For the server information, which pops up in chat, that's just the same as your join message when you join the server, I believe. Yeah, that is the same as your join message when you join the server. Um, it also looks like part of the dock has been destroyed here. I'm guessing you did that on purpose. Um, maybe put like a construction sign or something. I don't know. Just make it look a little cool. Um, but it does seem like you have a nice build here. The world kind of ends over there, it seems. So maybe add, like, a little bit of, um... No, it just keeps going. Hmm, interesting. Uh, maybe add, like, sharks or something out there. I don't know, something a little bit more to pull players toward, uh, exploring your hub. Treasure hunts and stuff like that always are recommended as well, just to pull them, uh, players closer. Take, um, you have factions and cannons, so it looks like it's a faction server, so maybe put, like, your F-top and hub, translate it using a database to your hub, put the stats there, stuff like that would probably work out well. So, let's just go ahead and click factions. I'm in a queue right now to join factions, so maybe, um make it so okay there so it does show you the queue and where you are in the queue that's pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead and wait to join and i'll be right back once i join so i've been stuck in the queue for a little while now um it doesn't seem to be moving and especially for a server with such little players i would highly recommend making sure your queues go quickly because you don't want to be sitting in hub queuing for a server um, especially if you're a new player. So I would really recommend making sure your, your queues go quite quickly. Um, in ter and I can't actually leave the queue. I've tried doing leave queue and it just doesn't work. I don't have perms. So I'll make that available to players. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect and reconnect to the server. And we're going to check out your cannon realm rather than your faction server to see if I'm even able to get in there to check it out. Um, so it's an insta teleport to the cannon realm. So this would be something I would really recommend checking into, especially with uh, factions and stuff. Make sure you can go to the correct location very, very quickly because you want to be able to get in, do raids, stuff like that, especially for factions. So make sure to look into that. Also, you can get rid of this little dash in the middle by using like a parentheses empty um, or something like that. I don't exactly remember what it was, but you can get rid of that little extra dash. And I'm guessing this is just your traditional um, canon realm. I'm not exactly, it's just plot, like plot TP, uh, no plot, plot, help all i don't know I, don't, I forgot completely how to do it um but you know that's fun uh maybe add like you have your tps ping and thing here maybe put that in the tab list as well to make sure that you're getting all the info needed there um we'll try joining factions once more to see if we're able to join it if not i will go ahead and just say uh make sure to work on the queue because clearly i've been waiting for quite a while and i'm still not able to get into it so i would highly recommend working on your queue a little bit um because that will be your very much um get into people's nerves if you're sitting in queue for a long time so i'll give this a few more minutes and then i'll come back and if i'm still not in the server i'll just go over a few last things and i'll end the video so i'll be right back all right, so I've been sitting here for a good few minutes now, and I still haven't moved up in the queue, so I'd really recommend checking into your queue system or whatever you use for that, because clearly it's not working properly. Anyway, let's just go over the last few things I kind of wanted to mention before the end of the video. Um, I apologize I wasn't able to actually get into any of your servers to actually review them, and I've only been able to review the hub. Um, if you would like me to come back once you fix all your queue systems and stuff, please let me know by leaving a comment or going onto our Discord server and DMing me. Um, and I'll be happy to come back and re-review it once you get all that settled. But anyway, I would highly recommend making a slash help or slash about or slash info command or something to go ahead and give players info on your server. 
Also, like slash rules, the lobby is even saying I can't do slash rules. You should have your rules clearly posted in lobby, either in a hologram, GUI, book, something, along with uh, help commands, help op commands, stuff like that. Um, you should always have on your server so staff members can easily people and people can easily contact staff members. That's what I want to mean to say. So stuff like that should really be worked on and made sure to be implemented because you can actually really really uh, help with all of that. Um, in terms of the double jump. Um, it's easy, nice sounds and everything that all works out pretty well, but really look into your queue system, make sure whatever you're using is set up correctly. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. I do apologize for the short video and I do apologize. It's literally just me standing in a hub talking about some stuff. I clearly can't join the server. So overall, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.